Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Drew Rabian, radiologist. This is a sonography radiology training channel. I will present different videos could be benefit for physicians and general population. In this video series, I will talk about fetus ultrasound and try to explain general information for pregnant women simply. This is the first video in this video series. In the previous video, I talked about our purposes of the first trimester ultrasonography. In this video, I will explain each of these purposes with detail. The first one is to determine the presence of gestational suck. In most reference sources of ultrasonography, it is mentioned that the first time that it is possible to detect the presence of pregnancy suck in the womb with transvaginal sonography, not abdominal sonography, is approximately five and a half weeks after the date of the first day of the last menstruation. So, if one week has passed from the date of your routine menstrual period and you suspect that you are pregnant, if you are pregnant rarely, your gestational age is about 5 to 6 weeks. Therefore, even if your pregnancy blood test is positive, it's normal not to observe gestational suck in the womb at this time by performing abdominal ultrasonography and in this case it's recommended to repeat ultrasonography usually two to three weeks later. As you can see in this image, we can see the womb but no gestational sac inside it and the physician reports I didn't see pregnancy sac, please repeat ultrasound two to three weeks later. Another point to note is that a gestational suck might be observed at this time, but the embryo itself and its heart activity are not seen due to the small size of the embryo. And repeated sonography is recommended within one to two weeks, and this case is also quite normal. As you can see in this image, there is a pregnancy slug in the womb, but no fetus inside it. The physician reports gestational slug is seen without a visible embryo. Rapid ultrasound one to two weeks later is recommended. Sometimes the gestational slug and the embryo itself can also be seen at this gestational age. As you can see, the gestational sac and small embryo, but the fetal heartbeat is not seen, which is still not abnormal, and repeated sonography within a week or transvaginal ultrasonography is recommended. In this case, the physician reports gestational sac and embryo are seen without visible fetal heartbeat. Repeat ultrasound one week later or transvaginal sonography is recommended. Therefore, cases that are not abnormal at 5 to 6 weeks of gestational age and need follow-up ultrasonography include no visible gestational sac, observing the gestational sac without embryo, observing the gestational sac containing the embryo without obvious heartbeat, and in all these cases, follow-up ultrasound is recommended. Please pay attention to this an important point. Always pregnant women ask the radiologist, may I hear the fetus heartbeat sound in the first trimester? Doppler ultrasound should be used to play the sound of the fetal heart. Also, no complications have been reported for using Doppler since it applies more sound energy, it's recommended to be careful about using this method before 12 weeks of gestation. Another our purposes of first trimester ultrasound is to determine gestational age. Generally, gestational age is determined based on the first day of the last menstruation. Please pay attention. Always try to write down the date of the first day of the last menstrual period, since it's very important in examining the growth and 
problems of the fetus in the later stages of pregnancy. The best and most reliable way to accurately determine the age of the fetus is trouble if a pregnant woman doesn't have the date of the first day of the last menstruation. In this case, is the most accurate and correct way to determine the age of the fetus is performing the first trimester ultrasonography, in which the cephalic caudal lens of the embryo is measured correctly, which we must measure the lens between the head and the tail of the embryo. Measuring the age of the embryo during this period is of great importance because if during the next stages of pregnancy we suspect fetal growth restriction and the date of the first day of the last menstruation is announced in order to estimate the true age of the fetus, one should trust the measurement of the first trimester of pregnancy. Another or purposes of first trimester ultrasonography is to determine the position of the gestational sac. In fact, one of the goals of performing the first trimester ultrasonography is to determine the position of the gestational sac. As you can see in this image, we can see the bladder, the womb, and the pregnancy sac in the womb. When the presence of gestational sac in the womb is proven in the majority of cases, you can be assured that natural pregnancy has occurred. Therefore, if your blood test is positive for pregnancy and after six weeks from the date of the first day of the last menstruation, the pregnancy sac is not seen in the womb with both abdominal and transvaginal ultrasonography. In these conditions, there is a high suspicion of ectopic pregnancy, means pregnancy sac outside the womb and if the level of pregnancy hormones is rising in repeated blood tests this suspicion is strengthened and you should rule out ectopic pregnancy in the ultrasonography ectopic pregnancy can occur in any part of the genital tract including inside the abdominal cavity in the ovary in the cesarean section and cervix but the most common site is the uterine tube in both sides of the womb there are two tubes named uterine tubes or fallopian tubes which is the most common site of the ectopic pregnancy please pay attention to this important point in the cases of positive blood tests for pregnancy and the absence of gestational sac in the womb the presence of ectopic pregnancy should be examined carefully if you like this video please subscribe this channel if you would like to get notification for the next videos, please press the small bell. If you have any question or video suggestions, please write in the comments. Thank you for your attention.